Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today we bring the wiring video of SkyDroid H12 Pro connecting SkyDroid C13. SkyDroid H12 Pro Remote Control is equipped with wireless high-definition image transmission technology independently developed by SkyDroid Technology, which combines remote control, data, and image links into one. It has adaptive frequency band characteristics and can automatically switch to the working frequency with the least interference, and the communication distance can reach up to 10 kilometers. SkyDroid C13 is a three-axis gimbal that integrates a 500W pixel visible light camera, a 640 thermal imaging sensor, and a laser rangefinder. The video is mainly divided into three parts. What products will be used in this test? How to wire? How to present? What products will be used in this test? The products used this time are SkyDroid H12 Pro, SkyDroid C13, CU AVX7 Plus, 11.1V battery. The cables used this time are C13 Network Plus Power Cable, H12 Pro Data Plus S. Bus Cable, X7 Plus Power Module, XT60 to JST 2.54mm. How to wire. The POW Plus LAN interface of C13 connects to the LAN interface of H12 Pro receiver. The connector of C13 interface is GH1.257 pin. The connector of H12 Pro receiver interface is DuPont 2.54mm 4 pin. The SBUS interface and data port of H12 Pro receiver are combined and connect to the RC port and Telem 1 port of X7 Plus flight controller respectively. H12 Pro interface is DuPont 2.54mm 6-pin, X7 Plus RC port connector is DuPont 2.54mm 3-pin, X7 Plus Telem 1 interface is GH1.25 6-pin. The X7 Plus power module connects to the battery and then powers the flight controller. The other end of the power module connects to the adapter, and finally C13 connects to the power cable.
How to present. Turn on the remote controller. Enter the Gimbal FPV software. If there is no picture after entering, click the switch button at the bottom menu, find the C13 icon, click to enter, then there will be an image. Side buttons can adjust zoom, One click down view you reset global reset the first icon at the bottom is the video recording button the second is for taking photos The third is to enable the floating window. Then let's look at the fourth, parameter settings. Image parameters can set some related camera image parameters. Gimbal control has target tracking and three control modes to choose from, multiple modes can be checked at the same time. Calibrate lens shading effect. Lens shading is calibrated at the factory. Due to the special calibration method, please do not calibrate it yourself unless necessary. Please contact our technical staff before calibration. AI Gimbal. Turning on the AI gimbal can lock the selected object. Gimbal Calibration Gimbal is calibrated at the factory. Do not click unless there is a problem. Working Mode Can set the gimbal to be mounted upright or upside down. Please place the gimbal correctly according to the working mode. Incorrect placement will damage the gimbal motor. Gimbal speed. The gimbal control speed has constant speed mode and variable speed mode. Palette. Can adjust the thermal camera's imaging effect. A total of 11 options. Enter the settings, the first video address is the visible light address of C13, the second is the thermal imaging address of C13. Scroll down to encoding mode where you can set image flipping, check camera version and OSD display. Crosshair. Reverse line. Switch connection. Laser ranging. 
Click the ranging button to perform single laser ranging. Effective range, 5M 1KM. Then enter settings, copy the visible light video address of C13, Open QGC. Click Application Settings in the General Interface. Set the video to RTSP Video Stream. Paste the video address, return to the flight interface and you can see the C13 image. The thermal video address is set the same way. Then open Skydroid's ground station Fly Jesus. Click the upper left corner. Click Common Settings, then click Other Settings. Enter the user interface, then select Video Window, choose C13. The ground station will display C-13's image. In Fly GCS Ground Station you can control C-13's movement, zoom, photo taking, video recording, etc. But in QGC, these controls are not available. This is the end of the wiring video tutorial for connecting H12 Pro to C-13. Thank you for watching and supporting. If you have questions about the video content or hope we explain a certain part in detail in future content, feel free to leave us a message. Don't forget to follow the World Drone Market channel, we will continue to bring more drone equipment reviews, tutorials and practical guides. See you in the next video.